be sued or not to be? That is the question. This video is pointing out hypocrisy when it comes to the lawsuit filed by Bullhorn Betty against Queen Bee and the countersuit from Queen Bee to Betty. Comments not about this content on the video will be removed. I have no side in this matter. This channel reached out to Sinner and got permission to discuss the following topics. Without his permission, we never would have shown the following information as it is private. It is public knowledge that Sinner's public record was released by the creator, No Wire Hangers, a friend of blank screen and neighbor to the hive. The video she made exposing Sinner's record was then shared by Burnt Toast, a mod for Queen Bee. Of course, with the purpose of community awareness. Just like BHB did to Queen Bee and the community was outraged. So it won't look like they went real life on someone. Again, Burnt Toast is going to review for us what legally happens when you accuse someone of false accusations with malicious intent because they hurt your fifis. After extensive efforts to dox Queen Bee and identify her publicly as her name, I think a little funny TikTok thing that explains well, it. I gotta interrupt Dave the little bitch. Stay out of my inbox. Oh, he's oh my god. Oh, he's, oh, yeah, he started off with flipping me off. And I said no with the little bunny rabbit. And he said, Don't worry, I'll speak on you soon. And for the record, I fulfilled my military contract and carry an honorable discharge. <laughs> Queen Bee began using Sinner's real name a couple of days. After he confronted her on her panel, which was September 19th, Sinner has not ever gone by his government name on YouTube. But we know the Hive will say, saying a name is not a dox. Unless you're Queen B in a lawsuit, that is. Count two is defamation per se. And per se means that you did it with such malicious intent that you don't even have to prove damages. It's just simply so blatant that you don't even need to prove the other stuff. Burnt Toast says per se means you did this with such malicious intent. It doesn't even have to be proven. BHB then began making false statements about Queen Bee. In late March of 2023, BHB stated that Queen Bee, quote, she sold drugs to kids, end quote. In late March 2023, BHB stated about Queen Bee, quote, you are a disgusting woman and you sold drugs to kids, end quote. That, Betty, is called being particular. Saying blatant false criminal accusations is called being particular. These are statements of fact, not opinion. Queen Bee did not sell drugs kids. This video has been viewed by over 11,000 third parties. Those, or sorry, these false statements made to third parties imputes the commission of a crime. Making such accusations imputes the commission of a crime. Wow, Betty, it's almost like <laughs> you are the very thing that you try to project onto everybody else who disagrees with you. Mm, imagine that. I beat women heart. and you got domestic violence charges and you fucking treat women like shit. Let's hear that again. What did she just say? I beat women heart. and you got domestic violence charges and you fucking treat women like shit. And you got domestic violence charges. Queen B says when you fucking beat women and have domestic violence charges and treat women like shit. She is speaking about Sinner at this time. As you can see, there are no domestic violence charges on Sinner's record. Also, she is accusing him of committing a crime. It was ironic to learn that some people with felony convictions felt like someone with misdemeanor charges was so dangerous. Upon information and belief, BHB knew the statement was false. When asked by MGL, quote unquote, what kind of drugs, BHB stated, quote, I don't know if it was meth, coke, crack, I don't know, I have no idea, end quote. These two statements are defamatory per se. Queen B, her friends, and her moderators all were very aware of Sinner's record and knew this was not a charge or conviction he had on his record. Is that defamation per se? The following day, BHB published a statement referring to Queen B, quote, say no to drugs, kiddos. Oh, wait, she, Queen B, is giving them to children, end quote. So what that's talking about is that there was a super chat, apparently, or a comment in the chat, and BHB featured it. That's what I'm getting from that statement, that she featured it, meaning published it on her channel, and then made those statements. So more defamatory statements, per se. For weeks, Queen B went around to chats asking if Sinner had beaten any women lately. 
Is that defamation per se? This false statement made a third made to third parties imputes the commission of a crime. This statement is defamatory per, per se. BHB has suggested that she made these three defamatory statements in revenge for QB's criticism of her. The community says that BHB filed this lawsuit so that she could stop Queen B from talking shit about her. We now see that Queen B wants to shut down people talking shit about her on the internet by shutting down their page. They both want to shut down all criticism. Is that why Queen B falsely accused Sinner of domestic violence? I remember hearing BHB say that. So she incriminated herself, which is what she seems to always do. The times that she falsely DMCA tried to copyright strike my channel, and every time YouTube's like, eh, this is fair use, please stop striking her. We might take your, terminate your channel if you keep doing it, excuse me, keep doing it. Did someone say false strikes? Queen B issued a false strike to Sinner's channel as well. Upon information and belief, BHB knew the statements were false and acted recklessly concerning the veracity of what she was saying. BHB acted with malice. Did Queen B act with malice? What good intentions could she have had with these accusations? What he does here is the same exact thing that all of us have been doing to her since we individually found her channel. We use her words against her. I play her words. Like we do. Other people can hear her say the things. Like we do. Pause it, and then I do commentary. Like we do. It's not hearsay. We are actually using her own words against her. Like we do. And that is exactly what he's doing here. So all the reasons why he hates, she hates Queen Bee and hates me and hates Blank Screen and all these other channels that clip her or do videos on her or whatever, he's doing the exact same thing to her. And it's so perfect. I love it. Like or don't like Sinner or the way he has spoke to some women in the community. Defamation remains defamation. Queen B used these false criminal accusations against Sinner to silence him and encourage people to not support him. Do you think this was okay? Let us know in the comments. Wait, Jenna, just because you end the, like an allegation allegedly doesn't necessarily save you from being fucked with legally, civilly. Uh, that was another thing these people have no clue of. It's like me stating like Queen Bee is a killer. A Queen Bee is a killer, allegedly. She must have done it, allegedly. It's like, it's like, it's like that doesn't work. Yeah, <laughs> you can't make a factual statement and then follow it up with allegedly. That doesn't work. Like, right. Oh. Queen B has stated this page takes her words out of context, changes a narrative against her, and falsely speaks on her lawsuit. We challenge you to show where this has happened. Our comments section is always open. At a certain point, when you start uh, like full on defaming somebody, that's a little different. And her definition of defaming clearly does not add up to the actual definition of defaming. Somebody hurting your fifis doesn't count. Somebody giving you criticism, somebody giving an opinion statement doesn't count. But when she goes live and makes very clear, this is a fact, this is not my opinion kind of statements, and then she's doing it maliciously, uh, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's the issue here. Queen B says this is the community's lawsuit. We all know it's the community's money. Does she continue to be reckless because there is no financial effect felt by her? Did she defame Sinner? Did she do the very thing she is countersuing BHB for doing to her? Or does she just not care because it costs her nothing to be reckless?